What's up everybody? That car guy Eddie here and today another video as you can tell it's almost Thanksgiving. Yes, that's right. I am that family that has inflatables on my yard for every holiday. Anyways, today awesome day because we are going to be taking out Adam's 2022 Dodge Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, but we're going to be taking it where we've taken no Eco Diesel before in the past. We're going to be taking it off-road. So, buckle up, strap in. And uh, let's go see if we can break something. Woo! All right, here we are, leg one of the journey. As you can see, we are in Fresh Pond, California. That's right. So for those of you that aren't uh, exactly um, frequent the area of Highway 50, Lake Tahoe, Rubicon, Lover's Leap area, Fresh Pond is where you're gonna want to stop and get gas. There's a Chevron here, and the Chevron is actually uh, what are gas prices in California right now? 559, 569, 589, 629 for diesel. Yes, it is expensive. But like I said, we are getting ready to uh, do a driver swap here. We're about 45 minutes into these here in Nevada. And the next stop we should be should be the base of the Strawberry Trail. So we'll see. We do already have some snow on the ground here. And if you look over here behind me, you can see some California people. There's like three inches of snow on this mountain. And they're all excited because they're like, oh my God, let's go play in the snow. <laughs> If they drove like 20 minutes further, it'd be so much better. Anyways, we're doing a driver swap. Adam, right there, driving his Ram. Uh, stay tuned and we'll see how it goes. All right, beautiful Strawberry Lodge. Adam over here, faithfully airing down to make our contact patches a little bit wider. There was a little bit more snow on the trail than we thought, uh, but it's not anything that we're too worried about. We are at an EV charging station. Unfortunately, for those of you that have a Jeep 4XC Wrangler. Uh, this does not have J1776 chargers, which is stupid. I don't know why they don't just have universal chargers, but we're in beautiful Strawberry Valley, California. Um, and there's just a light dusting of snow. Over there is the defunct Strawberry Lodge. Got a lot of great memories uh, coming up here, getting ice cream at that lodge actually. So it's, uh, it's kind of sad to see how it's kind of gone into a little bit of disrepair, but hopefully they do open it back up now that it's post COVID. So this is kind of the conditions here in Strawberry. We are going to be headed up that direction, uh, probably up there and over the top of that mountain. So uh, we will see how well the Dodge Ram does. These are the Rebel tires that we recently just put on this. Uh, they are not bad uh, they definitely make the truck look better and man the black tires or the black wheels just look so good on it it looks so good i'm a little concerned about the lowness of these but this trail is nothing that it once was so we will see how it goes all right so contrary to popular belief we're now yeah, we're, just sliding we're, we're now backing down sliding down the sli <laughs> sliding down the trail Gravity is our friend. In the snow? Yeah. Well, the good news is the snow is uh, soft. It's gonna turn around right behind us. Once we get facing the right way, it won't be as bad. All right, so we went up the trail that everybody said we could not go up the top. That is going to be a little bit of a problem here. gonna have significant issues getting up here with all the Jeeps. Yeah. Unless more people come with them next week. Or the snow melts. I just think the trail is too rough right there. Let's see what straight looks like. There are more tracks going straight. Adam with the precision backing up. Which I don't like. I'm not hitting that bank. No, you're not. Straight back. Straight back. You're good. You're not gonna hit the bank. See? You the snow pushed you around it. You're good. Four-wheel drive in reverse is the most sketchy out of yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's see what this must have turned around marks right here. It's from everybody else. I we got up pretty far though. Uh you know what? Remember when we were in the Mazdas and we tried to turn around and we got stuck? Yeah. I would just keep rolling backwards. Yeah, that's my plan. All right. I 
can't we just I can't believe we just missed the water crossing on film. Oh the ice water crossing. Yeah, the ice water crossing. By the time we were in it, it was too late. It was too late. <laughs> See, now dedicated filmographers would have backed up and done it again for you guys. We're not that dedicated. Man, it is pretty out here though. Really pretty. First gate crossing here. All right, well, we may have made it as far as we can make it. We are now backing up because we have found where the Jeeps in front of us can go. So a couple more cow Jeep guys here. Don't get stuck in front of the Jeeps, bro. <laughs> so we're not gonna be able to make it anywhere there. So here's what we're gonna have to do when we come around. We're gonna have to, a little bit, yeah, you're good, you're good. We're gonna have to come backwards down Highway 88 is what we're gonna have to do. So the trail's gonna be good to go. Look at these guys here hanging out camping. A couple of them might come with us next week, which is good. You'll be able to go with the berm. I just can't see what's in front of me right now, so. I have faith, bro. Nothing, more snow. All right, don't worry if you get stuck right here. These guys will happily pull us out. Bye guys. All right, all right. So here we go back. So here's the deal. So the low trail does not go through. It becomes like a horse trail, which is not a good thing. Um, we are not going to be able to come this way on, on the trip. There's no way we're going to be able to make it up there. I mean, I don't even think if the snowpack melts, Adam, what do you think? No. You want to take another run at it? No. No, Adam's, Adam's white knuckled. He doesn't want to take another run that at it. That one the only ones fit right there. Yeah. All right. So the good news about getting stuck and having to turn around and realize that there's only one place to go is that the dedication to the water crossing, Adam. Yeah, so we will get it on film for you guys this time. I'm fairly confident it's at the bottom of this hill. Definitely. I'm gonna hang out of the window because I don't want to get wet. And uh, this is it, yeah? Yes! Don't drop my phone. Don't drop my phone. Let's, oh shit, almost died, almost died, almost died. All right, let's go. We're ready. We actually thought this was asphalt. Woo, a little bit of water here. Let's get all the ice. Woo. What's up everybody? That car guy, Eddie here. And today, some good news and some bad news. So the good news is we have made it up to Strawberry Creek Trail. Strawberry Trail, what is this called? Strawberry Pass 4x4 Trail. And we actually came up here because we have a Jeep ride planned for this upcoming weekend. And uh, we wanted to see if the Ram right there would be able to make it, because if the Ram could make it, the Jeeps should be able to make it, at least if you have some halfway decent tires on it like the Ram does have. The good news is we did get, we did get a chance to follow some other Jeeps up here, which is nice. So it was pretty flat. And if you look, Adam, if you want to show the ground, it's pretty flat. The problem is this right here, this, uh, this going up, is not that steep, but it is. It is very, very slippery and very, very icy. So the Ram made it about three quarters of the way up. In fact, um, I was <laughs> I was actually pretty impressed by how far I made it up. Um, and then it, it just didn't have the ground clearance. We started hitting too much snow and we don't want to damage the truck. So we turned around, we tried the lower path and we actually did run into the Jeep crew. So shout out to the NorCal Jeep guys that were down there. What's up, hopefully we'll see you guys next week. The problem is, is that this is where we're supposed to go for our Jeep ride. And if we're having trouble making it up this hill, um, I don't want to get anybody stuck. You know, we have a bunch of novice riders. So um, there's a couple things that I'm planning on doing. Don't fall, Adam. <laughs> there's a couple things I'm planning on doing. We might run the trail reverse. Um, if we come from Highway 88 and we come, we're already up higher. Our Jeep's coming. No, you. Oh, let me move this way. Better? All right. If we come from the Highway 88 side, uh, the trail is way more groomed because um, it's a service road. And then we could actually come down this and coming down this wouldn't be a problem. The other option is it's not supposed to snow for the next week. So theoretically, a lot of this should go away and it might be passable. But it might Probably, be more muddy. It could be more muddy. And the other issue with it is I think we're gonna have a lot of Jeeps up here. So if we have a lot of Jeeps up here, the last thing I wanna do is get people stuck. So. Uh, we will see. We are still going to have a ride. 
um, on this upcoming Saturday regardless. So keep your calendars booked. I just don't know if this is going to be where it is. So stay tuned and uh, ride hard. Talk